Our water heater is 50 gallons. There you go, water heater is 7 years old. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's mathematically impossible for the temperature pressure relief valve to have 5 or fewer 90 degree bends. And this discharge is too high, and this guy's leaking. We saw it leaking on the outside of the house. There's a safety pan, there's a drain pan, there's electrical piping, there's gas piping. Okay, you're supposed to have a 24 inch, 30 inches free and clear space in front of the water heater to work on it. You're supposed to have a 24 inch unobstructed platform to get to the water heater. Unlike the other water heater, what I'm not seeing is a care and use manual. I can see that we've um, got some Sipiflorius, I think that's the word, or uh, super robust, but anyway, extra. Extra electrical bonding on our black CSST jacketed. Also on our air duct, I see we got some cloth tape over there on the right there. Shouldn't have cloth tape on that. We're talking about the water heater. And the water heater, just like this insulation is right here that we've got with the extra bonding. Okay, well what we don't have, what I'm not seeing, care and use manual, insulation should go down to the tank. The draft hood doesn't fit right, in fact there's a hole right there. Think carbon monoxide, think carbon monoxide can get through there? I do. This pipe, I know it's a short run, but it's supposed to be stabilized. It's supposed to be secured in the attic, so it's not secured either. That's what we got. That's about it. No care and use manual. Too many bins in the TMP. No air gap in the TNT. Um, no insulation on the TMP that leaks. Um, no insulation on the connectors next to the tank. Looks like you got a little bit of corrosion starting right there. Our draft hood doesn't connect really good and it's not properly supported in the attic. Seven years old. They last about 10. It might last 12. It might last 15. It might go out tomorrow. They last about 10. You got a seven year old water heater. Um, cloth on the deck 